no flies and no guys man um big ambitious goals for getting out here an hour before dark but wanted to check this out with a four cell and um, so i got four cell 2600s and then i stuffed it back in the uh, battery box i took and notched out the foam right here stuff that thing back into that cavity and um, set up some mixes it's pretty severe elevator uh, mix on rudder so got that mixed out well it's not that severe because i think like 12 percent got it between the battery location size of battery and the mix this thing got real good i did um you know a lot of overall 3d stuff that worked really well way better than before and then got me a real nice rifle roll like flag high right there down the runway like full throttle this thing really books um on the four cells and the ailerons really rock and roll you know the tail it all feels pretty good and you know i know i'm expecting a lot um but i'm just wondering and they're good metal gear servos but ordered some like 70 dollar high tech <laughs> servos for it top of the line so i'm going to put those in the tail and see how that goes might end up putting them on the ailerons too see if i you know get a little more accurate feel but i don't know i mean I don't know that you have to do that. In other words, it's pre I'm sure it's going to feel better with those good servos, but you know, for the for what it is, it feels pretty darn good right now. So got that done. Then wanted to uh, get this plane back in the air that I had just barely started breaking in, and the rudder worked perfect. I was doing these high alpha knife edge down the runway, high speed knife edge down the runway. Things really locked in. Just on one nine six one, I set it up for two servos just in case I need it, but. Yeah, it's really locked in with one. And um, this thing tumbles really good. This thing kind of does everything really good. And then the last ambitious part of the goal was to fly this thing right now at sunset um, with the night lights on. But these things don't come with side force generators or blind nuts for side force generators. So um, the zoom in the extreme flight edge does but it's too late to pull that thing out um, to try these things out but yeah next sunset we got to get out of here pretty much at you know dark so but just before dark I, I wanted to check them out in the sky but you know I don't have Alvin here for videos for any of this stuff or any any of the other guys so um, just as well but yeah, got the batteries for it. It's a little tiny um, three cell. I think it's three cells and it's um, like a 375 mod. <laughs> but um, yeah, I was gonna check those out, but yeah, that blue tape ain't gonna hold those on. Um, oh, I will say with these sky wings, um, I've had it happen on half of my sky wings one of my Edge 540s, I think it was one of the green Edge 540s, I mean that covering was just falling off, you know, just barely laid on there. I think they use like 120 degree heat. You know, it's a lot quicker and easier to do that. And, um, you know, I still love these R's for the money. They're just so amazing, like all of them. Um, so no real complaint there, but, you know, with what they charge for labor over there, I'd rather give that 14 year old girl that's doing them, you know, um, another couple bucks to iron it down good. <laughs> Literally, I'd give her another 50 bucks to iron it down good. Uh, haven't had that happen with the extreme flights. I mean, they get a few, you know, wrinkles that pop up, things, but not where stuff just peeling off. Um, on that Skywing Extra and Edge, I think the NG and Edge, the 116 inch ones, I mean, it just, just started just falling off, covering just falling off. And this one too, I usually try to, you know, I'm bad, I try to sneak through the Maiden maybe a couple of flights and then I'll iron the planes down, you know, kind of like let them earn it, you know, I know that's wrong, but. Um, so I did the Maiden on this one uh, without taking an iron or heat gun to it. This was when I got it a couple weeks, you know, got it ready a couple weeks back, maybe, maybe it's been a month. And then, um, the yeah, right on the Maiden, right away, I heard, the, you know, and I knew what that was. And so it ripped 
you know, pulled all this covering on the wing and it ripped it right down the center. And that's where Harley Quinn is now. <laughs> so I finally got around. I just put blue painter's tape all over both wings to keep it from happening that wing too. And I put it back here on the stabs. And then um, I just flew it for like three more flights until I doinked the dork, the rudder. So I, I've not been kind to this plane. But now I ironed it all down, heat gunned it, ironed it, took my time. You know, I like to go 200, then 250, then 3, then 350. Really get stuff down good. And um, heat gun all the wrinkles and bubbles, not iron. iron don't iron until everything's flat. Um, but yeah, Harley, she don't look too bad on there. And it says, why so serious? And then she looks serious. Like, why are you so serious, Harley? But... Um, yeah, uh, Skywing doesn't make any backing for pilots, like extreme flight, so you got to put backing underneath, but it sure looks nice with a pilot. And, yeah, it did pretty good. Got a couple flights on this. Like I say, rudder's great. Thing really tumbles good. Rifle roll's good. Um, and, yeah, I can't wait to, to look how cool that looks. I want to put up a flight right now with those lights on, but... Uh, yeah, I'll have to sink some line nuts in this, but probably most likely I'll just um, do it on the edge. Edge my favorite plane anyway. Um, but yeah, I might throw some line nuts in here too. So all the planes will be capable of some night flights. Um, shit, man. That's pretty much it. Yeah, see, the, the fucking thing's over. <laughs> It's all good now. <laughs> all right, out.